National Theatre Scotland is a fairly young, new company. It was formed in 2006. It's, I suppose, tagline, most important tagline is it's theatre without walls. So we produce shows um, all over Scotland and internationally. The idea is that we work with all with independent artists, so we work with established companies, we work in, in the venues that already exist. So our audiences can be very small and very intimate pieces through to large scale co-productions with Royal Shakespeare Company, for example. Cunningham's a very exciting Scottish-based artist who had a desire to make her own work, so we can enable her to have partnerships with people that she would, may not normally in her solo work. So we would put different collaborators together. And then because we have the kind of technical experience or producing experience, then we support them to make this different type of work. The main mentor and then became collaborator of the piece was um, Gail Sneddon, who's the video designer and choreographer. And again, it was important for Claire coming from solo work to have someone else that could look at her physicality, look at the movement and then take it in a completely different direction. It's a love story um, and it's about loneliness and I think the desire to be, to be loved and to find that perfect partner. There's movement, puppetry, there's um, animation, so there's, it's so textured and layered. It's very exciting to feel, feel the depth of that production but still follow the story which is about someone searching for the partner or examining what it means to to be loved or to think about what barriers they might be putting up that stop them entering into a relationship. For me, I find it really exciting that I don't feel particularly confident about the language of movement or dance, but I feel that I'm I'm drawn into the piece, I'm really drawn into the to the story. Menage a has had a, a real range of audiences. Um, we've played at festivals, mainstream arts festivals or festivals that are specifically programmed with work from artists with a disability. So a whole range of different environments. Um, fortunately, the reaction has been, been really um, strong in all of, the, all of those different environments. Again, I think because it's a universal story and there's so much multidisciplinary and kind of approach to the work, there's so many kind of cross art form things. It's, it's very warm, and people kind I suppose people see beyond the the disability and that they see the, the you know the beauty and the texture of the piece. Mm -hmm.